Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are playing this sweet Winota mid-range deck. I don't even know what to call it. Winota mid-range. Um, but first, as you may know, we're doing a charity stream at the moment. If you guys are watching on YouTube, it's over. I'm sorry. But I am going to feed Hunter some treats for like five minutes. Hunter, come here. He's going to hear these, and he's going to be like, I'm coming. I'm going to open the second camera. Oh, now there's two me's. Hunter, come here, bud. Are you ready? It's like five minutes of Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Chow. Get this camera. Do we see the ground? There's so much going on. It's too many things. I don't know how to do this. Hunter, come here, bud. Want some snacks? Want some treats, Chief? He's not coming over here. So you just get two francs. <coughs> My body smelt the dog treats and they were like, no. Hunter, come over here. He has no problem going under the green screen and coming over here. When I'm just... Streaming like normal. Come here, Hunter. Come over here, Chief. Come here. I hear a movement. Oh, here he comes. He's coming. He's coming. Hi. There he is. What's the best way to get this camera here? You know, I don't know. Where'd you go? Hey, come here. Got some treats for you. I put one camera on top of the other. Come here, Chief. Come here. It's four o'clock. This dude's getting snacks for another for five minutes. Does he want a treat? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you sit? Oh, good boy. Ready? Good boy. Sit. You want to do a little shake? Oh, my goodness. You're the best. Ready? Did you get it? Oh, good man. Sit, sit. Sit. Okay, I'm just going to give this one to you. No, you don't have to do a trick for it. That one's just because you're cute. You ready? Give me a little jump. Ready? Oh, you missed that one. But that was my fault. I, I threw it too close. So, it was too close. Let me get you to sit. I'll give you that one. I'll give you a little hand, open hand one. Try and mix it up a little bit for him. Ready? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Don't get too excited. Ready? Oh, good boy. All right, we're going to sit. We're going to shake again. Okay. Oh, you're the most precious gentleman ever. Good boy. Can you lay down? Lay down. Better lay down. Hey, no, that's not laying down. Lay down. <laughs> he just keeps getting up. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> you know what? Good enough. Good enough. That'll do. That'll do. He's, just <laughs> He's like, I'll crouch for a second. Does that count? I'm like, okay. It's only been one minute. God, these are only three calories each. This is why I got this. Is, it's good I got the small one. He's so gentle, too. Can you guys see how gentle he is when he, when he, look, when he, look when he takes it. Look. He's like the most, he's like the most gentle gentleman. You gonna lay down? Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> this is not a lay down, just so you know. You're being ridiculous. Let me check. God boy. Can we shake with the other paw? Other shake? No, 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 other shake. No, other shake. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. <sighs> I'm gonna jump, you wanna do? Oh, oh, ready? Oh. Good boy. You better sit. Is that a sneeze? You sneezing? 
No, I'm just gonna pet you. This is just pets. This is just pets. Okay, ready? Oh, oh. <laughs> you got a little ahead of himself there. Hey, hey. Ready? Good boy. I don't know how you see these. They're so tiny. Like, I don't know how dogs catch food like that in their mouth. Like, I can't catch anything. Sit. I'm just gonna give it to you, okay? Oh, so gentle. He loves them. I personally was not a big fan of him when I had one. But he, he seems to be enjoying them, so. <clears throat> you already breaking up those treats? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I was not doing that. These are hard to break up, though. Oh, oh. This is so tiny, though. He ain't even gonna taste that. 750 gold. Mike throws treats to Frank's mouth and he tries to get. You better sit. What are you doing? You wanna shake? Okay, there you go. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy. You got two more minutes of treats, okay? You going up here, little man? Katie, can little man have one of these treats or no? Or no? Nah? <laughs> Guys, you're getting a twofer here. You got a little man. <laughs> See, this is much better. Look at this. <laughs> this is this is a real show you got going on here. <laughs> He's like, what's going on here? Okay, you ready? Easy. Good boy. Katie, can Low Man have one of these? Low Man, you want Low Man? He's like, no, I don't care about this. And was like, oh, I'll take it. <laughs> give me that treat. This is, <laughs> this is, okay, hold on. I'm gonna give him like three more. Can you sit? You keep standing up. Like you're being real. You're being real aggressive. You need to know that you get the treats when you're, when you're patient. Okay, you ready? Good boy. All right, I'm gonna sit. Can you lay down? You're getting real close. It's like he wants to let he knows how to do it. He's just like, you know what? I'll go halfway for you. I'll meet you halfway. Lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Oh, okay, hold on. There you go. Alright. It is now four oh five. These are the last two I have. Gentle. Oh, you missed it. Okay. And this one will be for a one final shake, Hunter. Oh, good boy. Good boy. We did it. We did it. Oh, man. All right. Good boy. I gave you like 30 of these treats, bud. You're good. You're good. <laughs> You're so grateful right now. Good boy. I guess he's... Good boy. Oh. Okay. Okay. And that's the first like 10 minutes of this video but I figured if you guys want to see it then you get to then you get to see it and as soon as Mike gets here we're gonna do a shot of Mio anyway Winota says whenever a non-human creature you control attacks look at the top six cards of your library you may put a human creature onto the battlefield tapped and attacking it gains indestructible so they can't just like chum block it and kill it because that's unexciting uh, and then you put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order so basically, you're gonna play Winota. You're gonna attack with the, the the token that Legion War Boss makes, and then you're gonna try to get an Agent of Treachery out of your deck. Uh, also, Chandra makes one ones that that attack, both of which trigger Winota. And then you just have Mystical Dispute to counter things, raise the alarm. Um, raise the alarm. Interestingly enough, makes human token not human tokens. They make just soldier tokens. Do you have a bag of treats to feed Mike too? <laughs> I don't. I have a big bag of fruit and make fruit and nut trail mix. But that might be too healthy for him. Okay. Sideboard, pretty standard stuff. Mythos of Badrock, Elspeth Conquers Death, Doe, and Zeta Scorching Fire, Aether Gust, Disenchant. Pity Spark Double is an illusion and a shapeshifter. How come? So let's try this deck. What up, man? You ready to do some shots of... You ready to do some shots of Mio with me? 
I got some extra water just for it. Oh, the water didn't. Oh, you mean just just to wipe it to wash it down? Yeah. I'll I was also like, bring I was a like, present for you. It's the pie. I knew it was. It's okay, man. We still got three hundred seventy-five dollars to go for that. All right, guys. We have uh, <clears throat> several varieties of Mio here. I'm gonna let you guys choose. All right. We got. Lem this is southern sweet tea, lemonade, grape, crystal light strawberry pineapple refresh. So this has 18 servings. The other ones have 24. So I think this is less concentrated because you need to use more of it. So you probably want to avoid that one. Blackberry lemonade, which will probably be, be extremely tart. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think that one might be the worst. Pineapple mango. Orange. Cherry Limeade and Raspberry Lemonade. Quite a few tart ones to begin with, so. You wanna go with the tart, mix them all? Well, I don't wanna waste all his meals. Plus, that'd be difficult. No, there's no poll, because there's like too many. I don't wanna type like nine of these out and have them in a poll. You guys just tell me. You guys just say it in the chat. Blackberry and we'll just... Lemonade? Yeah, I think that one might be the worst. Josh with the 25 pounds, Michael Bar Barbobbly Bucks. Happy birthday, Mike V. <laughs> Josh, thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Care.org appreciates it. Blackberry Lemonade and Cherry Limeade. Kid, are you suggesting we mix them? Or are you suggesting one of those? glasses to do that. Uh, we were just going to squirt them for a good... Oh, yeah, I'm not putting them in a shot glass. I'm not a maniac. I also think an actual shot would be way too much. I would do it. Jesus. But I don't think we have shot glasses unless they have some upstairs. The funny thing is about it, that's why I got the lemonade and the, the, the sweet tea for the Arnold Palmers. So you are correct there, buddy. I'm suggesting you do each, you each do one. Oh, okay. So we each do uh, one does cherry limeade, one does blackberry lemonade. That could be, uh, yeah, that could be good. Those do sound like the worst. All right. Cherry limeade and blackberry lemonade. Katie has spoken. These are the, these are the two. The decider. If which you do you want to do? I'll do the one that's worse. How do, how do we know, though? How do we know which is worse? We actually don't. So what's the difference? 24 servings versus how many? They're both 24 servings. What are the ounces? 1.62 each. They're the same. They're all made the same, basically. They're all made for 24 servings. So it depends like... on which one's more brutal. I feel like the cherry limeade might be worse because I think it's trying to imitate Mio, which is stronger, but I don't know. And I think limeade... Well, they're both trying to imitate. They're just... They're all... It's all the same. Oh, yeah. I guess. I just think limes are actually more tart than lemons. Is, what do you think? Is that true? I don't know, man. I think that's true, but they're also just kind of different flavors. But then someone also said, I think the blackberry lemonade sounds worse. Fuck. You want to flip a coin? I don't actually care which one's for sure. Okay. Hey, Frank and Mike. So I need to know, Mike, did you win uh, it all the other night? I did not. I did not. <clears throat> I got fourth. Okay, hold on. If you get if you if you guess the one I have the cap in, you do blackberry lemonade. The one you, okay, so pick a hand. Yes. I'm gonna go with your left hand. Okay. Okay, so you do cherry limeade. Okay. Okay. Oh god, here we go. Hopefully if you guys are watching on YouTube you're enjoying this nonsense before these actual standard matches. How much of a score are we talking, man? I don't know. You wanna each do you wanna do it for the other? You want me to score it for you and you score it for me? No, that's weird. <laughs> that's how it's always worked though right what do you mean like before with, when you've done a shot before I've just squirted it in your mouth I feel like we can do that ourselves though so I don't want to like what if we spill it and get it but here's the thing like if you don't like it you're going to stop right you're not going to keep going no can you go full screen I mean I could try I and mean, I could definitely make the camera bigger for sure that's got to be better right yeah <laughs> alright Bottoms up. Two, three, four, five. You have five. You have five seconds. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. Oh, it's so <laughs> tart, but it's also like bitter because it's. Oh. I feel like five seconds might have been too much. I just wanted to stop at five. I don't know why I didn't taste it until I hit five. <laughs> Oh 
Oh my god. That one wasn't as bad as the last one I did though. What was the last one you did? Was it Black Cherry or something? <laughs> the last one I did, I think, was Black Cherry, and I think it was like a Mio, though. Like the brand. <sighs> All right. Mio's are probably stronger. See, you've done this before, like, multiple times. I don't think I've ever done this straight, so... I, well, the first time I, I feel ever like did, it's I a lot took, scarier for me. The first time I ever did it, I just went, like, one little squirt. Right, that was a long squirt. But then the second time we did it where you squirted in my mouth... That was much worse, and it was similar to what. Well, yeah, because I was—I just wanted to make you suffer. You know, I wanted to get as much Mio in there as I could. All right. I'll sit in your tooth. It's so strong, dude. It's so visceral, yeah. You should drink oh. Water. oh, god! It really sits in your stomach. Oh, fuck. I'm a little curious, so I'm going to do like a one second squirt. Oh. Oh, wow. That is much different. Oh, God. It tastes like warheads. Like, it tastes like concentrated warheads. This one is much better. T taste wise? Yeah. It's like way sweeter. It was, it was real sweet. Like this one, there was like, it was just all sour, no sweet. All right, let me try yours then. It's only fair. I would just give it like one second. I thought I was going to vomit because it, you could feel it like, you know when you swallow certain foods, you can feel them go down? Yeah, your body I doesn't, definitely your body felt doesn't it. want you to do this. Oh! Yeah, this one's much worse. Oh, God! Oh, that was fucking terrible. Oh my god. There's like no sweetness to it. Oh god, mine is good. Yours was terrible. Yeah, if you compare the two, this is like... That was tasty and delicious. Yours is like vom... Yours has like a medicinal taste mm -hmm. to it. That's the bitterness I was talking about. Oh my god. <clears throat> oh god, my mouth is like so red. No, it's just concentrated flavor and vitamins. Oh my stuff. god, It's not gonna dude. be actually bad for you, but... Oh my god, that yours was so much worse. Like not even close. Yeah, I did mine for like five seconds. The bitterness is like the bitterness the medicine this is the best <coughs> and it won't go away. Oh yeah, it that there's like a yeah, there was like an aftertaste to you yours. Just throw this out. It's good in the in the drink itself, dude. Oh, this is an energy one too. That's why it's worse. Is that why? Yeah, because it's probably stronger. And it's probably got like the, the stuff in it to give you energy, so that's probably where the medicine is. It's got stuff from. to give me vomit. <laughs> Was one of them energy because the consecrated caffeine would be vile? Yes. That's probably where the medicine and grossness taste is coming from. That's literally probably what it is then, yeah. I'm curious. What's caffeine content? Here, this one also has caffeine. This one, this is strawberry pineapple refresh with caffeine. Try that. See if it's got the same, like, caffeine-y taste to it. Wow, that was oh, disgusting. Check something. His was much, mine was much better. Like when I tried mine, it was strong, but like it was a completely different taste than what he was trying. Good gravy, dude. Yeah, it doesn't say how much caffeine it is. It's, it's, there's caffeine label on it, oh, on the ingredients, God. but it's pretty low down on it, so. I've never had caffeine pills. My tongue is so red, too. This one has caffeine? Yeah. It says with caffeine right on there. Um, Yellow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the caffeine. No, that one's not as bad, but it's like super sweet and super tart. It's like a warhead, yeah. Yeah, it's wild. Brett, another 25. Let's get those nugs going. Yeah, we, someone has to order us nugs. Yeah, Cherry Lime made it was significantly worse. I assume it'll probably be the Katie or Kerwit. Yeah, um, I gotta do the uh, last dab challenge with the nugs. Kerwit, I really, I, I don't mean to like <laughs> ask you to do stuff like that, but I, I, I'm just assuming you don't mind and you know I appreciate it. And you like have access to all my information. So <laughs> I would order, Badger would order too. Mike, I took your 100 buying advice and real talk, I've been running nice on PokerStars. Appreciate the heads up. 
Man, I'm so jealous. You must not live in the U.S. and oh, play on Poker Stars. You guys are all offering to buy nugs. Would you guys be interested in tasting Bitrex on stream? I don't even know what that is, dude. Uh, it's a substance that's extremely bitter. They use it to put on like dog's paws and stuff, so they don't, so bite, they don't bite their nails. Yeah. Uh -huh. So like for little kids. Right. Yeah. It's really, hey, don't it's, bite it's your nails, terrible. little Jimmy. They also put it on the back of uh, Switch cartridges. Oh, that's right. Because they're so no uh, DS cartridges, right? No switches because they're so yeah, small. They're all of them, yeah. Yeah, all Nintendo, any small, Nintendo yeah. one. They're all, uh, like, super tiny. I put this on the top, and I don't even think I wanted it. So. I think I was just so distracted. Shua Garner, thank you so much for the 50 bones, dude. Could I interest you in some legless dogs? <laughs> What does that mean? Uh, Lucky MH7. I'm curious where, you, where you're located at. I don't even know what that means. Who? Where are you at? You don't get Poker Stars in the state? There's like th two states where you can play on Poker Stars because they're specifically legal to gamble online in those states. New Jersey, Vegas, and I think there's one more actually. I think it's three. They have like specific Poker Star websites for those states. Oh man, my mouth is like, I can still taste it. So I dubbed the Unforgiven. You know that song, Unforgiven? Yeah, man. No, unfortunately, Poker Stars, <clears throat> because of the, the way the U.S. gambling online rules work, Poker Stars isn't really a thing in the U.S. Germany? Yeah, nice. Yeah, a country with reasonable gambling rules. Oh, they EOT'd this? No. That's too good. I tried to see what really persistent dogs didn't give up chewing on their bandages. So uh, they are monsters if they don't stop. That stuff is horrid. <laughs> sure. So I dubbed the Muggle Bees. Yeah, you can Man, go. Man, I got super lucky at work today. You got lucky at work? Yeah. What happened? How did you get lucky? So, <clears throat> one of the more complicated things I have to do at my job is sort out transfers on bills. That means, like, so on your bill it says transferred from other account or other address. So, in order to resolve that, I have to have a copy of the original bill. And usually you can never get those online because that account isn't on your online profile. So, it always has to be a call. So, right there, time consuming. B. Oftentimes, the transfer will come from multiple different addresses, so that means you have to get all those bills and know which counts they went to, and then make sure we haven't paid them on our end. So I had this one where I had to call multiple times, get multiple bills, and on top of that, they transferred our credits to just accounts over and over again and like never stopped. So I called for like the fourth time because I'm like, look, this is super complicated. Can you please just apply <laughs> to my account? It's like, there's no way this is ever getting done. And she was like, yeah, I actually looked into it. It's really complicated. You guys are a good customer, so I'll just I'll just waive the fees. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So it saved me like six hours of work for one issue. Probably. Thank Jesus. You got a counterspell for this? Man, they always do. Mm. Cool. It's basically my job, like... If a bill says a transfer or a pass due amount, like we can't just pay that. We have to have the source of where it's coming from to prove that like it's owed. And it's what was your source? <clears throat> oh wow, octopus. Here in Canada, they don't care about all the online gambling. Yeah, that's why a big amount of US Pros don't live in the U.S. anymore. <coughs> I think drawing one's probably a little better than scrying two. It's still in my mouth, dude. It will always be in your mouth, Michael. <laughs> Can we 
gonna get an update to deck list. Oh god, you guys asked for so much. I tried to say, uh, that was Katie. This deck seems good against us, and I'd rather not play against it anymore. This is like the first deck we tried out when we played Ikoria, and uh, I liked it a lot, but boy, now I know that it's really just annoying. Oh, you also get to draw in my face, whatever you want to draw, man. Preferably no, like, dicks or anything, because, you know. I wasn't going to do that. I figured you wouldn't. That's not really your style. Only because we have a viewing audience. If it was like a bet offline, then yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, Mike totally drew a dick in the dust on my sound bar. Because it had some dust on it, and he's like, here, I left you a present. Well, some people would draw, like, you know, clean me, but, like, it's much funnier to just draw a dick. Totally. It totally is. Ain't, ain't, I ain't gonna disagree with you. Mike Tyson tattoo? Wow. That would be complicated. <laughs> this is gonna take, like, a, a whole hour. Uh, just don't draw blackface on me, either, because that's not, a, that's not appropriate, either. Don't know Hitler mustaches. Dude, I'm running out of options here, okay? You're really, you're really boxing me in here. Oh, we got Karuga. Karuga. Oh, they're probably on the one deck then. Which one, man? Do the Post Malone always tired? Oh, always tired in the eyes? <laughs> what if you just sharpies your entire beard black? Wow. <clears throat> Rule of game design. If you give the player the ability to draw a sculpt, you will wind up with 90% dicks. <laughs> oh, Bear Man Man says that as a game designer, so. We got Harry Potter Scar. We've got right nice cards, but much. Wow. These are all great suggestions. <laughs> nice cards, but to munch. That's where Michael wants to go to get away from it all. You should ride punt for sure. Wow. Oh, I don't need a third agent of treachery, so I'll put you on the on the Batome. Next time you feel like eating Bitrex, I don't know why you'd feel like doing that. Make sure to eat chocolate to milk chocolate after it removes the taste. Okay. 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 <clears throat> you can list the names of all ten thousand victims of Shrek. Hmm. <laughs> Affinity, you got that Shrek clip? Is that was that you? How many people has Shrek killed? I don't know, man. At least ten thousand. <laughs> Do you not remember that? No, not really. It's unbelievable to me. But I'm sure it's a thing that happened. It is a thing that happened. That's it is why, a thing. That's why I'm saying I, I'm sure. It is. <clears throat> I'll find it. Of course you will. You're like the clip master. The what master? The clip master. Oh, okay. Get your mind out of the gutter. Just making sure, man. I just want to make sure I knew what you said. Okay? We don't need any of your trash talk, Michael. <laughs> this isn't a fires list, right? Well, I just literally countered a fires. No, you. Mine? No, oh, no. I, I was like, so. what are you talking about, man? I just countered this. Is Mike a Shrek cost denier? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we all know the truth. Gosh, dang it. I need a Winota or a land next turn. Actually, Winota doesn't even do anything because you got to attack with a non-human. Why'd you only cast one Raise the Only? Well, because they have Deafening Clarion, <coughs> so there's no reason. To, like, we're not going to win with, like, a bunch of Raise the Alarm tokens. <coughs> oh, these are non-humans, actually, so Winota would do it. That's right. Never mind, I'm a dummy. Both of those are non human Thank you, Cassius. God. Oh my god, Affinity. You're friggin' amazing. You didn't even clip this. How many people do you think Shrek is killed? <laughs> <laughs> At least 7,000. 
At least 10,000. <clears throat> I want to block and we're going to hope for a land. Mike B, thank you on the advice on ordering Little Caesars last night. It was delicious. Nice. Dude, I had Little Caesars for lunch. I got a $5 lunch deal. Yeah, he texted me and he was like, Hey man, how should I order that Little Caesars? And I was like, oh yeah. Get extra cheese. Well done. We got extra cheese on yours? Not today, but I was just telling him how to order his pizza. I don't need either of these. I feel like they wouldn't give you extra cheese on the lunch special. Maybe they would. I don't know. What do you know? What do you know about cheese, Michael? I'm surprised that worked out today, considering I ordered it wrong online and just told them to change it. Well, that's how they do. <clears throat> Little Caesars isn't good, but it sure does exist. False. It's it's very good. It's just totally fine. Again, if you only had their regular five dollar pizza, not great. But their thin crust and deep dish, totally fine. You're goddamn right. For a chain, obviously local places are gonna be better, but if we're talking chains, Little Caesars all day. Karuga. Our deck does not seem good. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Little Caesars doesn't advertise their best stuff. That's really true. No, yeah, all they advertise is their hot and ready five dollars, which aren't good. But their thin crust is actually real good. It's crispy and saucy and delicious. And their deep dish is real good too. Like it's surprising. Michael B every day. Have you had mod beats before? It's a chain. I've had mod pizza like once. I've had mod pizza in Seattle. Little Caesars is better than Pizza Hut by a lot. I agree with that. Don't even get me started on how bad Domino's is. Tell me how bad it is, Michael. Let's hold up here. You got one man up. Crazy oh, bread wait, what? Crazy bread isn't very crazy. Oh, because be they honest. get trample. In well, fact, it's pretty it. reasonable bread, sane bread. Yeah, crazy bread is just it's basic breadsticks. Nothing special about those. It's still good. There's a mod pizza in Ogden if you get down the way. Man, if I'm going all the way to Ogden, I'm not going to a chain. Oh yeah, for sure. That's for that's for true. I remember being okay. Like I didn't dislike them, but it yeah, but like, it's fine. It's not. I'm gonna it's go not out, worth a thirty minutes. Yeah, trip. I'm not gonna go out of my way for it. Um, I'd rather just lucky slice it up. Lucky slice in Ogden was delicious. Wait, what? Domino's is just fine. It's. I great, don't think Domino's not, is better than Little Caesars at all. I think Domino's is absolute trash. The sauce <laughs> is disgusting. Same. I their sauce is just gross in my opinion. That's really the reason I don't like them. It's just the sauces. I don't like the red sauce. And their, their bread just tastes super dry. I don't know, man. I'm a big fan of all the innovations Mr. Tortino has been bringing to the pizza game. Oh, the frozen <laughs> pizza racket. <laughs> Who's Tortino? You mean Totino? Maybe. We just make a... Uh, well, I just read it how it was well, spelled. I'm criticizing him, not you. Oh. God. It's not everything in Iron Things about you, Michael. Guys, any general words on the recent eight changes to the Vintage Cube? What? I don't think we remember the exact eight changes. It's hard to remember the that eight kind of changes. Stuff. I don't even know. What are they? I mean, generally, I, I still think there's a bunch of cards in the cube that should not be there. Domino's thin crust with chicken, onion, and barbecue sauce is awesome. Well, yeah, but like that's not a pizza to me. I agree. Like once you have barbecue sauce on it, like it's just a flatbread, which is a totally different thing. And sure, it might be good, but it's not pizza. We're talking about red sauce and cheese. <clears throat> the frozen pizza racket. What's that for? Meatball tennis? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, probably, yeah. It's probably for meatball tennis. Listen, barbecue sauce is red? I don't know. It's usually brown. Yeah, if your barbecue sauce is red, that's... That's a spicy one. That's a strange barbecue sauce, my dude. What does an axe do whenever an axe from another creature control dies make a 1-1? One, one? Dang it. Yeah, Where? I also think Domino's and Pizza Hut are overpriced for what you get.
I need an entire deep dish pizza from Little Caesars for like 10 bucks. And you know what? It's delicious. All I'm saying is if you've never had their thin crust or their deep dish, give it a shot. Or eight, nine, ten. So we really have to draw land here in order to get Winota on. What's the base of barbecue sauce? Tomatoes? Uh, it depends on the barbecue sauce. Some are vinegar based, some are tomato based. Depends on the style. Some are mustard based. And no land, so we are dead. So wait, barbecue sauce pizza isn't pizza, but deep dish pizza is pizza? Yeah, it's the same. The ingredients are the same. The ingredients are the same. It's just thicker bread. Yeah, I mean, like, deep dish pizza is still cheese. It's still mozzarella cheese. Uh, tomato, tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. And bread. And, and bread, yeah, and dough. That's the, base, that's with, the baseline pizza. With Italian seasonings. Like, that's the same. Once barbecue sauce is the base, like, I'm not saying that's bad, but I'm just saying it's not really pizza. It's like a flatbread. Which is nothing wrong with those. They're just not pizza. I think Papa John's is my favorite chain, but you really do need to try the pie when you are down in Ogden. The pie. Hmm. Never heard of it. Really? You don't Papa John's is all right. You haven't researched Ogden. Uh, pizza Hut's is Garbo. Hut's? Yeah, Pizza Hut's not great. You're not great. Got him. Deep this pizza is a pie or a casserole. Are you arguing barbecue pizza is more of a pizza than deep dish pizza? Because that's insane. Also depends on what kind of deep dish you're talking about. If you're talking about Chicago deep dish pizza, yeah, it's kind of like a casserole. But, like, it's been established for a long time, man. Mike's getting really heated with his pizza. Oh, good. We're going to mold a five here. This deck does not seem that good, and I don't know... <clears throat> And we're all the way hanging out in bronze getting these losses. <clears throat> the thing is, though, if you have pizza on a bagel, you can have pizza anytime. That's true, Super Fritz. Where's the lie? You're a pizza chet. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Little Caesars deep dish different than Chicago deep dish? Yes, it's not deep dish. It's Chicago. It's Detroit style. It's Detroit style. It's, it's not uh, Chicago deep dish. That's the technical term. It's Detroit style. They call it deep dish, but it's really Detroit. Mike is in the pocket of big pizza. If yeah, you put two slices of pizza together with all the fillings in the middle, does that count as a sandwich? Hmm. Well, it is two pieces of bread. Or cheese. And... That's a good question. Have you tried the factory here in Logan? I'm not a huge fan, but some people swear by it. I don't think we've been there now. No. Why would I go to a factory to get pizza? That sounds terrible. <laughs> I call your mom deep dish. Wow. That's wild. Chicago style is like a marinara soup bread bowl. You can call it whatever you want, man. It's delicious. I agree. Not not that I don't like New York style. I think if I had to choose one, I would I would go with New York style, but When Michael's on a bagel. Is a nice change of pace. Oh man, regular drinks still taste so good after that Mio. Regular drinks. Y'all got any of them regular drinks? Maybe. Have you ever been to the Castle Garenbrig? They have delicious glass pies. Have you, Michael? Chicago style is the other one known as tavern pizza, which is thin crust. Yes, there is also a Chicago style thin crust that is cut into squares. It's also very similar to the to the uh, <clears throat> to the to the to the thin crust that uh, Little Caesars offers as well, which is super super thin and crispy, and it's cracker like like the Chicago style deep dish, and uh, it is cut into squares. So. 
How do you feel about Stromboli's, Calzones, and Panzarotini? I don't know what Panzarotini is. Stromboli's and Calzones are fine. I prefer Stromboli's. Because I'm not a huge fan of uh, Mikata. What do we got? I don't just like it. I just prefer it without. It's because you're the I fucking... like the Krusty Krab pizza. It's the pizza for you <laughs> and me. True. I've made several pizzas at home using bread as the dough for just being lazy to make the pizza dough my didn't want to make the pizza dough yourself and still not better than Domino's. I, I don't doubt it. That's cause Domino's is trash. Oh yeah. I don't want either of these. Panza Rotini is deep fried pizza squares basically. Sounds legit. I'd try it. Would you? Any day if you got sauce, mozzarella, and cheese. I'm probably gonna like it. Wow, what a perfect draw. Because I looked into ordering no Little Caesars, day. almost $10 in fees and tips. Well, I mean, that's like every place you order from. That's it's literally good. everywhere, yeah. You're gonna get a delivery fee, a service fee, and a, <laughs> and tip, a tip and tax, and it's gonna come out to $10 more than what your order originally was. But it doesn't matter where you go, it's always gonna be the same. What do you, I usually get on a pizza? Cheese. Yeah, he's just a plain cheese kind of guy. I want man with the slow mac beef. I prefer like one or two toppings, but a lot of times I just go with cheese because it's just cheaper. And it's still good. It's way cheaper if you seal it. That's correct. Unless you get caught, then it's much more expensive. You guys are making me want pizza, and there's a Lou Maltani's right down the street. I think I've heard of that restaurant before. My usual pizza joint has no delivery. Nice. If you're ever down in Salt Lake, I will buy you what is, in my opinion, the best calzone. It's called Pizza Bender. I promise I really will buy it for you. I promise I really will. <laughs> Alright, so four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> You're a pretty unimpressive four four right now. Blue Malatani's is the best period. Sounds legit. You Malnati's? Sure. I don't know. Sure. Where's that at? Chicago. Ten bucks for this amount I can order three pizzas from the local Pizza, Pizza Elio, with no delivery fee as well, then I suggest you order there. Well, at least you won a game. It's a Chicago deep dish mini chain. I don't think there's any here, so... We still gotta have to get those nugs, man. You're right. I gotta go upstairs and get some last step. God, I'm, this is gonna be a throw up. This is gonna be a vomit stream for sure. I'll be fine. I'm talking about me. I'm probably, probably gonna try one it. of these nugs. Oh, really? You <laughs> yeah. Have to. It did not sit well with me last time, though. Hey, man, the challenge is on for me. So. It, yeah, but it was some real rumbling. I don't know. I just feel like I should do one, right? At least one. How about instead of like a fully sauce one, you just like put a little on one? <sighs> Feels like a cop out, man. Oh, hey, it's your body. I don't want to be a little nug bitch, Michael. Well, then you should get on my level and do six. Wow. Got him. Did did you? Hunter, what are you doing over here? I wish they'd take Ember Cleam and throw it in the trash can. Yeah. It's, What's uh, Ember Cleam? Ev ev ember Ever Cleam? I am still living with I mean, your you ghost. If you didn't make that reference, I was gonna, so... Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. And now you got cameras on top of cameras. Buddy. The rich get richer. I got robot cameras stacked on top of robots. What on makes top robots? I don't know. I just wanted to say robots, okay? okay? Just let me live my Elon Musk fantasy. Lonely and dreaming of the West Coast. That guy had a really bad take recently. Did you see it? No, but it doesn't surprise me. Oh, there's like... It's probably an opening the economy. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Elon. 
I don't want to be your... If you're playing Garuda and you're not playing the fucking... Uh... You're not playing the Godzilla versions, like... Just uninstall Magic MTG Arena, because you just don't enjoy fun. <clears throat> it's also really weird because, like, everyone on Twitter responded to him with one of his own quotes, where it was like... If I'm ever against science or something like that, then call me out on it. And, like, literally everyone was like, so this doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, Elon. How are you gonna act? You were the chosen one, Elon! It's true. I don't wanna be your Michael B. Alright, this is probably gonna be too much. You were supposed to destroy the Sith, not join them. Wow! This is wild, dude. Okay, so this is what the deck is supposed to do. Oh, what up? It's Elk Tears. Okay, I guess five Winota triggers is probably too much. Did you pie yet? No, we have not pied yet. Oh, wow, Elk Tears and Dan's? That's wild. No, Dan's, we, we're only at 1275. We pie at 1500. We did the Mio shots. We're going to do the Nugs in the near future. Nine monkeys, thank you so much for the donation, buddy. Really appreciate it. 1275. So we also do the face drawing. The face drawing. We do the face drawing. How do I deal with like 15? If they do like 15 dudes, how do I deal with that? Probably don't want to do it with a, sh with a Sharpie, FYI. Why? What do you want to do with a pen? No, like, I was assuming like a... I was wondering if you had like a marker that's not as permanent as a Sharpie. <laughs> Fuck it, man. Okay. It's for charity, bro. Did I miss the nugs? No, you did not miss the nugs. We have not gotten nugs yet. How do you donate? Uh, command charity. We'll give you the link. Or someone put it in the chat for him. There you go. Boom. Nailed it. Kerwit, I know I'm. I know I ask you for. I ask you for all the food things. But would you mind? Would you mind sending us some nugs? Whatever's whatever's cheapest is totally fine. There's some other people that offered some nugs, but they didn't really follow through. So. Well, no, it wasn't about them. It was just about, like, Kerwin, like, has the address. Kerwin, like, knows everything That's already. True, yeah. So, like, it's just easier than, like, having to give information to, to like, to, to Josh. We'll, like, we're, we really appreciate it, buddy. But then I got to, like, go eat. I got to go message you and, like, give you be like, here's the address. Et cetera, et cetera. It's just, Kerwin's just there, so I just figured it was easier. Um, I think we just got to, I don't think, I don't think we have, I, maybe Dovin's Veto? Actually, the four mystical disputes in the main deck are pretty good. I'll take one fire prophecy for one Dovin's veto. Wow, these these pets are going wild. Yes, up tears on this thing. Dennis could have done it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, Mike, these nugs. Okay, go on. <laughs> I'm listening about the nugs. Oh man, I want to go run upstairs and grab that last tab. We can just do that when the nugs get here. What's the most efficient way to sauce like to to toss and sauce? Well, they come in the box, right? Yeah. So I can just put the sauce in there and just shake That's what up. I was thinking. Or, yeah. like, maybe use a Tupperware. But I don't know. I don't want to waste a Tupperware, man. Is that a waste of Tupperware, you think? Because it'll just work just fine in the box. Mm. Hmm. They're going to be swimming in hot sauce, right? Yes. We're going to, like, literally toss them in it so it's coated all over. <laughs> and I'm also probably going to put a little extra on them, too. Coated all over. He's gonna. We're going to toss them in it, and then he's going to dip, too. Basically, yeah. Do not Google the most effective way to toss the sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus, Super Fritz. Dan's and Elk Ten Months ready for that pie. Oh, man. We're getting there. Oh, that is ballsy. Well, I have a pretty high heat tolerance. Not that it's going to be enjoyable, but... Also, Kerwit bought us two pies. He bought us a lemon... It's funny because I asked Kerwit, I'm like, hey, can you get me a pie uh, to, to slam in my face? And... Oh, fuck. I thought that was their turn. That's really... That's really... I I always lose track of that. That's really annoying, but whatever. Um. Anyway, I was like, hey, just give me a generic pie, whatever's cheap, just to throw in my face. Like, that's the only reason for the pie, right? <coughs> and so he gets us two pies, because he's a hero. One of them uh, is a lemon meringue pie. The other is a banana cream pie. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna smash the lemon meringue pie. And who really cares about lemon? Meringue. And I'm gonna we're gonna just eat the banana cream pie. So, <clears throat> you know how I feel about banana cream pies. Yeah, that's why we're. 
Here we're gonna go to Garuda. Also, Gura, 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 Gura. for those who don't know, the last stab uh, is extremely hot. It's over two million Scovilles, which is like hundreds of hundreds of times hotter than a jalapeno, maybe thousands. All right, so I guess this deck is great against the Garuda deck that does nothing until turn like six, but and uh, it's arguably one of the f hottest sauces on the planet. So, father likes banana pie. Yeah, you right. <laughs> Mike likes banana everything. Pretty much. Like, even, even the fake banana stuff. To a really strong, weird degree. Do you guys have ice cream or milk in case it's too hot? No, that's a cop out. I ain't doing that. I, I, I ain't doing that. Wow, listen to that. Dan's, them. I'm not quite on your level, but my tolerance is pretty high. Dan's is a maniac. Me and Andrew and Dan's went to Carmelita's, this like Mexican restaurant. Nugs are ordered. And like, she was, ha she got like, when did you get Dan's? Did you get taco salad? And she was just like, you know how like I put Cholula on my tacos? Yeah, like, like everybody, I'm like, Ch -ch -ch -ch, everybody. Ch -ch -ch -ch. She was doing that with Last Dab. And I was like. Are you fucking serious? It was mind blowing. Me and Andrew were like in utter shock. Andrew tried like some Cholula and he was like, oh, oh, this is so hot. <laughs> and oh. I was like, Andrew, dude. Andrew has like no tolerance for heat whatsoever. It's pretty hilarious. <laughs> I've heard it's got good flavor. Yeah, surprisingly, even though it's insanely hot, like kind of unenjoyably hot, it the flavor it actually has good flavor. Yeah, she's elk, an alien. <laughs> elk tears can probably attest. Like it's <clears throat> it's probably ridiculous. Yeah, the bomb is actual shit. Yeah, the bomb is hot, not as hot, but it just tastes so bad. Ugh. It's so bad. Did you look up the hot sauce I suggested, Nom Prick? No, I have not. I'm a bunch. I'm a, a Cholula's my go-to instead of a. No, the bomb is definitely lower on the Scoville scale by quite a bit, but it just tastes worse, so it's a worse experience. She eats spoonfuls wow. of wasabi. Oh, that's weird because wasabi isn't just hot. It Dams. has like a really. What are you doing? A really like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just not a good experience to eat a lot of it. I don't know what you call that. Oh, we're playing the mirror match here, it's boys. It's like horseradish. Y'all got in them the horseradishes? Yeah, Los Calientes is delicious. Los Calientes is delicious. The scale's a bit subjective, though. That's true, yeah. Wait, did Mike draw on your face yet? Well, you can look at his face and... <laughs> Dan, you're asking all these questions that would be, like, so obvious. Like, normally. You're like, did Mike draw on your face? Dan's. The bomb tastes like jellied gasoline. Yeah, it's horrible. It's not even jelly. It's not even that thick, though. No, the bomb is pretty thick. The bomb is pretty thick. <laughs> My name's Michael. It's pretty Everything you've had in the U.S. that claims that you saw is probably horseradish. That's true, actually. Real wasabi is not as strong. But this deck doesn't do anything without Winota. That's the problem. Mike, you got to give Frank a full post Malone look on his face. You're not the first to suggest that. God damn it! You're gonna give me fucking face tattoos for days, dude. I'm not gonna draw all over your face. I'm gonna keep it pretty. You should make Frank join the pen fifth dance, please. No penises on my face, dance. This is a family stream. Yeah, that was my first go-to, but I thought it was bad for a stream. Oh no, I don't care. This if you're curious, seems... Mike, pure capsaicin is 60 million scovas. Yes. There's actually like some hot places where they. Yeah! Hot wing challenge where they mix in like two or three drops of that into their sauce. It's pretty crazy. Mike should draw a surprise Pikachu on his face. That would be good. Oh, so Wasabi can't be preserved, so if someone is not shaving off the roof, it's a short radish. Now, Mike, we are using permanent marker, correct? Uh, we're using a Sharpie, I believe. Which is permanent enough, I believe. He's gonna have that on his face for multiple days. Down here, salt is a way of life. It's true. Disgusting! I don't wanna make it too weird because if you have to go to the grocery store or something. Dude, I'm not gonna, I'll, I'll scrub it off tonight. I'll just scrub rubbing alcohol all over my face. You know how we do. Does that work? I don't think so. Probably a trick to getting it off. Oh, so uh, 
don't just these two. I don't foresee us. Come on, agents. Oh, we're doing it. What are we stealing here? What does it say? As long when it as long as if you control a reflection. I kind of just want your lands. We'll be honest. ETA with you. three to five minutes. Dasher is a Mick D. Is a Mick D? Oh, it's at Mick D. Oh, oh yes, at dude. McD, okay. I had some McDonald's chicken nuggets yesterday for the first time in like years, and they were so good, dude. Fans and I are about to cook Impossible tacos. Nice. Dude, also Del Taco has Impossible. Is it? It's Impossible. Is it Impossible? Oh, it's Beyond. It's Beyond. They yeah. have the Beyond meat at the at the Del Taco, and they're they're like so good. Like it blows me away. I can't tell that it's not. Yeah, another thing is I tried one of those. <coughs> yeah. And again, weirdly enough, it, it tastes, tastes like better than the regular. It meat. tastes like ground beef, right? Like I couldn't. T I get confused. No, what's weird like, is it tastes better than their ground beef. Like the ground beef is kind of bland. But it still tastes like good meat, though, right? Like, right. Yeah. So I mean, like when I eat, I'm eating it, I'm like, God, I fucking hope this is gr this is fake meat because I can't really tell. God, look at all these meals. My brother-in-law was one of the founders of Beyond Meat. Nice. What? Seriously? What's better for tacos, Beyond or Impossible? That I couldn't tell you. That's probably more. I, I think your Frank. question is Beyond Impossible. It just depends. I think they're both fantastic. He's a multimillionaire now. Mm. Mm, that's. I hear that's good. I wish I was a multimillionaire. One day, though, you know. Him and his buddies from college being the company. Yeah, I mean, if you make a company and you get big, like, you're just an instant millionaire, pretty much. Same. <laughs> What's Sam even meeting there? I don't know, actually. Sure. I wonder if you can get a whole impossible cat. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Hello, I'd settle for a single oh, million. Jesus. Yeah, you and everybody else. I'll keep this. We got a Winota and a Raze. Karuga, Jamek, to Bermuda. The majority of people in the world will not see a million dollars in their lifetime. How dare you talk about me like that? I wasn't talking about you. Oh, so I will? You might. Oh, yeah! I don't know how much you make a year. You can add it up. You probably hit a million eventually. Jesus, let's not go crazy. I think we pass here. ETA is 8 to 10 minutes, still at McDonald's. Okay. God, they take so long. Scry. Oh, I want Temple for next turn. Don't care about Seeing a million dollars, how big would the room have to be? I mean, if we're talking ones, pretty big. I made a huge mistake. Ooh, I want to hear the details. I'm going to eat this guy. Jumping off the Florida Keys. So if they play Winota, we have to keep up. No attacks. <coughs> end the turn, and end the turn. Chugga chugga pound, chugga pound, pound, pound. All right, so they didn't. Now we kind of just hope we draw land here. Untap land. Do, 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 do. It's going to eat him again. Give me them gobos. Fighting the battle of who could care less. In hundreds, a million probably fits in a briefcase. Like a big briefcase, but yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, big briefcase. I looked at the YouTube comments on a music video. Looking at YouTube comics, or comments. You ever, seen, you ever read a YouTube comic before? Got him. Anyway, comments on YouTube videos <laughs> anyway. are usually a trash fire. Unless it's like Fine someone like Frank where it's like, well, even if it's Frank, there's people that are Yeah, like, but my, 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 my comments are usually pretty Not good. as bad, Whose yeah. turn are we on? Mine still? You're doing this end of turn? You got a more sure. uh, tight? No. What's the word I'm looking for? You, you got more knit tight? What's the saying? Tight knit? Yeah, tight, knit, knit tight. Tight knit audience. It's a knit tight. <laughs> Fighting the battle of who could care less. No blocks. And then we're gonna Winota. 
keep Noda, 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 Noda. They're gonna mystical dispute, and then we're gonna mystical dispute. Oh wow, look at card just sent to us. That's pretty surprising that that's a million dollars. And they have double mystical dispute. That is actually surprising. Wow. Yeah, that is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. That's what she said. I'm sorry to hear that, man. It was painful. <laughs> I've been on a streak of mentioning gut shot in every comment on your YouTube for the past, like, three months. Really? I don't think you've done it for that. No, you definitely haven't been that consistent, right? You're my hero, I confess. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Wow, three mystical dispute. Fuck me, I guess. <sighs> Seems good. Fighting the battle of who could care less. Dasher's approaching. How many folds would Ben fold fold if Ben folds could fold some, some things, I guess? <laughs> Fighting the battle that Michael can't let. Hang execution. Oh, yeah, someone That's said they liked a line from a song that mentioned Christmas and quickly turned into religious fighting and Trump talk like WTF. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, another Winoda. Winoda. Wow. This is where they draw, they top deck Winoda. You ready? I'm ready. I'm living the... Come back in the hell of a game. <laughs> I'm gonna block this guy. Oh, the dash is outside. It's all happening, guys. I'll go get it. Michael, go get it. Mike will go get it. I'll get the last dab. It's up there, right? Yeah. In the fridge, or? No, it should just be on the counter. The counter. I only put the refrigerator. The, the only, the only some sauce has got to be refrigerated. Well, they've dealt with three Winotas. So I guess that's pretty good. Where's he going? Oh, wow. If we block here, we take three. If we double block here, we take three, so. Let's double block here. And then we can play this guy next turn. Yep, that's pretty good. Hunter is trying to get saucy. He's trying to sneak out. Okay, let's go to the next game. Oh, Mythos, Mythos seems much better now. I don't actually care about incubation that much. Eh, whatever. Eh, Sand's not super impressive, but Legion Warboss can just do a job. What up, Crutch Jr.? Good to see anybody. Let's see what we got here. Bottom. Thank goodness. It's the last thing we need. You okay, man? Michael can't handle the stairs. 
<gasps> it hurts and it's slower. Your foot's slower? I gotta walk down one step at a time. One step at a time. What? Yeah, Kerwit, Ker it's Kerwit, so he probably did 40, 14 nugs. Like for each of us, you mean? Yeah, that's what I meant. I was gonna say 40. Alright, so this is the last dab. Still plenty in that bottle. We're probably gonna start this at the, at the beginning of the next video, not right now, though. Okay. Because that's just better. That's fine. Anyone ever have the experience of returning a missed call and being told that you have the wrong number? Hey, buddy, listen. You don't know me. We know the... Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Let's draw a... Oh, Villy with the 100 bones, man. Thank you so much, Whoa, dude. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, dude. We also have apple pies in here. <laughs> oh, sometimes I feel like without Kerwood I would starve. 20 nugs. 20 nugs. Apple pie one. Apple pie two. Uh. And also two fries in here. I'm gonna leave those in here for now. Good gravy. some barbecue sauce for you. Oh yes. Oh, you got chocolate milk out of the fridge too? Well, just in case. This whole meal has been provided by Kerwood. I guess they just saw some randomly. It's fine. Oh, Jesus. Gotta keep the fries hot. Well, see if they whiff. It's 10 for me, 10 for you. They did not whiff. So standard is just like broken decks, right? Like either playing Winota and, and hitting Agents of Treachery, which steal your creatures, or you're hitting... Uh, Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no blocks, whatever. I guess I'm already ordering a pizza for you today. Or you're playing Garuda. Or you're playing, uh... Subtraction from each corner because other than three. I'll take a little sip of this chocolate milk. Oh, that's the stuff. And we whiff. Alright, this deck seems actual ridiculously not great. Standard just doesn't seem right. You're the, oh, the other thing I was going to say is Fires of yeah, fires of Invention, right? You're playing Fires of Invention, you're playing Winota, or you're playing Garuda. Like, those are your those are your three decks. Like, I don't know. Doesn't seem great. Also, this is these last dab nugs are certainly not going to be my actual dinner. <laughs> no way, man. This is going to be <clears throat> fulfilling and delicious. I'm going to have this apple pie, though. That's for sure. Oh, this thing seems real hot. Also, only ten nugs is not enough for a meal for me. I'm a savage. Yeah, you're close to a 40. I got you a variety of chocolate milks so you can find the good ones. <laughs> well, there's two true moose, which so far I've liked. And there's one Yoohoo, which I know Frank would It's Nesquik, Michael, Nesquik. not Yoohoo. I like the same thing. Okay. They're not. They're literally. You, Nesquik is actually chocolate milk. Yoohoo is soy. Or like. Oh, I thought they were both water. So soy water based. No, Nesquik is just chocolate milk. Oh, I thought you were going to have a little treat. It's just I can still just ha I can still do that because it's chocolate milk, so I can. Right, but I thought you preferred Yuhu's. I do. Okay. It doesn't mean I don't. Do you prefer regular? Do you prefer New York to deep dish? If I had to pick one, yeah. But you'd still eat deep dish because you still like it, right? Yeah. Then yeah, that's my point. I'm not saying you wouldn't like it. I was just saying like I was I was like oh, excited because there was a Yuhu for you, because I thought they were like the same thing, but they're not. You thought Nesquik and Yuhu were the same thing? I thought so. I they're anything. both like non milk based. Nesquik? You who is delicious, guys. Is the last dab like Sunny D? Does it burn your throat? Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, that's not happening. Who's your companion? None. That's a problem. Feels like it. Agreed. <clears throat> we just need a white source next turn. An untapped white source. You who tastes like chocolate water? Yeah, it's definitely something different. This old chestnut, eh? I'm considering eating the pie now, but I'm also considering I'll need something to wash down the spicy nugs. Well, our opening hand had an agent, so we put that on the bottom. And then we just scryed another one to the bottom, so... Study? Focus? 
So that means Lawrence our chances to hit are like extremely low. So my whole run felt like I was drowning in Sunny D. Wow. What? Why? <laughs> Katie, why? Apple pie, it won't burn your throat. Sunny D ain't noise pollution. But Michael B is. Oh, there's a good message for you. What is it? Just out I'm playing you. Thanks for the great match. I have the signed soldier token sent me during my deployment in 20. Oh, boo, boo, wait. Dude, Brad, is that... Is, Brad, is that you? Hey, go easy. I'm training here. How long until the last dab nugs? Like 15 to 20 minutes. I want to be here the bat. Probably in the next after this game, I imagine, right? What are you saying right now? We're gonna do it on the next yes. probably after this game or yes. like another game. Oh no, I'll just do it after this match. <laughs> Brad, like I, I actually try to remember people's names when they uh when they like reach out or like when they like it's also hard to remember when they're not a sub. We're also Facebook friends. Like I am pretty sure we're Facebook friends, so Yeah, dude, that's awesome, man. Oh, good. Get that man a gift from sub. I agree. Well, our we got another trigger. Hold on. Uh, oh, agent. I'm just taking. Wait, this is. Remove eight counters from it. Are there eight counters on it? Oh, that's no good. I'll just take this. Yeah. All right. I always put the one on plan. It's not. It's not correct. Do you think people make three-letter names like BSK because of like LSV? Probably. That is my three-letter name. But like, that was a thing way before LSV. Like that's common in other industries and places. Name right? one. My dad. Bitch, you don't even know your dad's middle. You don't even. What's your dad's middle name? Same as mine. What, Larry? It's Charles. You Mitch. No, it's Larry. Hey man, then my initials would be MLB. That's baseball. Mike, thanks for accepting my friend request. Or Facebook request. Yeah, no problem. Everyone knows my full name. Mocher. <laughs> Mocher. <laughs> Don't call yourself Mocher. Moochel Bober Bartholomew. So this is three whites. We can go Princey Boy. The actual only thing I hate about my last name is having to spell it out when asking for email requests. That's weird because, like, it's a common name, you know what I mean? Bartholomew? Yeah. Not that common. The name itself isn't common, but it's a common enough word and, like, it's yeah, historical it's like, enough. Yeah, sure. That, like, come on, you should know. All I know is I always have to spell it out for everybody. Because no one gets the O-L-O -O right. That's fair, I guess. I guess no one's really spelling it. Like, if I was like, what's your name? David? Oh, like the king? Yeah, dude. I like the king. I mean, I wasn't going to attack, but I might as well. I don't dislike my last name. I just hate when I have to spell it out. Because it's also like 11 letters. We'll and people never spell it. in the high life again. People don't ask me to spell my last name, they just spell it wrong. Well, the problem is when you're when you're like talking to a company and they have to email you, I have to make sure they spell it right or else I won't get the email. So, <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Maybe you shouldn't have your email be Michael Charles Bartholomew spelled out in all... It's just Michael Bartholomew. And also, I didn't get to choose. My company just made it that. Really? Yeah. <laughs> People always think my last name is Mule. Mule? Meal, M-E-A-L. Oh, Katie Meal? 
Really? That's weird. <laughs> How would you interpret that wrong when you look at it? That's weird. Look at it. I want you to look at it, Michael. I have two middle names which are longer than my first and last name combined. Whoa. Whoa. I was having four names. That's crazy. I mean, we just gotta play this, right? We're gonna need a counter. It's fine. Yeah. All right. You got it. That's your turn. So you block here. You take six still, and you go to three. Legally change your name to Mibar. M I B A R. <laughs> Uh, I have five names, no joke. Whoa. Aaron, Mikhail, Jared, Emmett, Clovinus. That is quite the name. I'm just going to keep this. Five names, wow. Hashtag five names. It's usually when I'm saying it over the phone or a cashier or whatever. I guess they just mis mishear you. Cashews? What? Huh? What? What? Uh, what? Disgusting! I think people are just bad at names in general. My wife's maiden name is Davis, and people would say and spell it wrong. Really? That's... That just seems weird. That's a pretty easy one, Davis. <laughs> you should donate a couple names to the poor. Yeah, man, you got five. Take, yeah, give, give one out. Cool. Oh, that's pretty bad for you. You think so? <clears throat> I'm no expert at magic, but... Yep. Yeah. Me neither, apparently. <laughs> My last name is literally a combination of two very common simple English words. People still got ask me to spell it. Got it. Mike, do you know what you're going to draw on Frank's face yet? I have an idea. Oh, God. It's probably like a butthole or something. Cat butthole. It's going to be a cat butthole, I bet. <laughs> that would be funny. I don't know how I would distinguish it as a cat's, but... Oh, we'd know. <laughs> God, those nugs smell real good. Done. Bro, can you post the list? It's literally just a 5-0 list from Magic Online. It's not like anything special. It's losing. We're like 1-4 with it. I don't even know why you guys care. It's not good. Dang it. What, Michael? I can't do that one. Oh, what? Can't do what? Were you, were you looking up uh, ideas? I was going to, since it's a tattoo, right? Quote, unquote. I was going to do idiot in Japanese. Wow. But it looks like it'd be a little too complicated to do. Because it's two symbols, not one. I also feel like that would be a lot of explaining. That's true. You're going to nug? Yeah, we're going to nug at the beginning of the next video. Just slow, slow down. Hold your horses. Oh my god, I have to bottom so many Agents of Treachery and so many are in my hand. Mike, I I'm like playing this... an Obsidat EDH deck on Moto. Or Mitgo, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they don't call it Moto anymore, they call it Mitgo. Yeah, that's just, that's just me stuck in my ways. I'm st stuck in my ways. You got a Nug Bite? Yeah, we're doing it after after this. Uh... I just literally I just literally responded to oh. him. <laughs> You're so fucking bad at that. Oh. Let's Legion War Boss here. So they can fire as a fire. Or you could ride Baka. Yeah, I just wanted. Just riding Baka was like, feels more lazy though. I don't know. I mean, you guys don't have to do stuff that makes me look stupid. Like, you guys could just. That's gotta be a little funny. Yes, but I mean, like, you could draw funny things on my face without, like, calling me an idiot. You know what I mean? Like. I wouldn't be calling you an idiot. I oh would be writing it on your face. God. <laughs> Unibrow? That's a good one. Jesus. I'd have to just do this. Connect the two. A headband. Hmm. There's so much pressure. I gotta figure out something to do. Mm hmm.
Jesus, who good at this game? What about like a Green Lantern symbol or something? It's a possibility. I'm pretty much out of mystical dispute range. Yep. Yeah, this deck is terrible. It's just too cute. What up, TPO? Draw a life-size portrait of his face. Draw it on my face. Draw my face. On my face. Why don't you use all the... Don't use all the red, my dude. <laughs> Standards... Not... Not great right now. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, my other idea is too complicated, too. What about this one? Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I'm trying not to look over there so I don't see your crazy ideas. <laughs> the other one's not too bad. Remember that time I missed the confluence of my own spell? Really? Because the only decks I've played against have been like Garuda. Like, they're all like uh, these controlly combo decks. Not the worst draw. Oh, three Yudaros. Three Turtle Mans. It's your Turtle Man, your Turtle Man. I don't know how I don't know, how the, I don't know how the, the words of that song, so. I just know it's about your Turtle Man, you know. Pretty good. Let's see if our agent of treachery <coughs> resolves. The answer is no. And then we just go up here and click the concede button. All right. Uh, I think we went like one five, one four with this deck. I I don't think it's very good. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, it just doesn't seem to do much if you don't have Winota. Like there's no cards. Uh, your your opponents can very easily. <coughs> Uh, out outpace the the cost for mystical dispute. Incubation is kind of a do nothing. We even whiffed with it. Uh, Winota, if you don't have a non-human, like if you have just like Charming Prince, it's also not great. Uh, there's been a ton of times where Agents of Treachery were just in my hand or on the bottom of my library because I had to scry them away. Uh, meanwhile, you're hitting like a second Winota and it's just not as good. I just feel like the deck is kind of trying to be too cute. I don't know. 
I mean, I've had her on turn four a lot, but like they've had counter spells or removal for her. So it's like, yeah, I mean, if I'm playing a four mana like red card, um, that doesn't affect the board without other cards, I would rather just play Fires of Invention. It just seems a lot harder to deal with. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on manatraders.com, patreon.com slash franklapore, <laughs> coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the the hunter treats and the uh, the Mio. I miss the hunter treats. The Mio treats for, for Mike and I. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you later.